U.S. Bangla Airlines confirmed the death of its pilot Abid Sultan. Prime Minister on the way to home, cutting short her official visit in Singapore. Apple Division is scheduled to hear on Wednesday two apples of ACC regarding Khalid Azia's bail. And the three Noah Kali men awarded with the death penalty for their alleged involvement in crimes committed in 1971. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozero Shanakta with you in the newsroom today. Viewers, you're watching a standard back headlines. Now the details. Bangladesh's private U.S. Bangla Airlines confirmed the death of its pilot Abid Sultan, who sustained injuries in the plane crash at Tribhuvan International Airport in Kathmandu of Nepal that left nearly 50 people dead. The general manager of the carrier Gamrul Islam Saad, pilot of the crashed U.S. Bangla Airlines flight Abid Sultan, who received a severe injuries in yesterday's tragic plane accident, died at a local hospital in Kathmandu. Gamrul Islam informed this while briefing newsmen at his Bari Dhara head office in city. Referring to on-board pilots and the two cabin crew, where the plane crashed and caught fire. He said one pilot, one co-pilot and one cabin crew are confirmed dead, while the fate of another cabin crew is yet to be known. Islam also said a seven-member team of U.S. Bangla Airlines along the victims. Relatives unrolled a special fight race to Kathmandu around 11.10 a.m. today. The team has already launched necessary works and the details of the casualties could be known later on the day, said Kamrul Islam. থাকে উইথ দ্য এটিসি কন্ট্রোল এবং পাইলট সেটা একটা ভাইটাল এভিডেন্স হিসেবে কাজ করে সেটা আসলে লুকানোর কিছু নাই এটা ব্ল্যাক Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina left Singapore for home, cutting short her official visit. A regular flight of Biman Bangladesh Alliance with the Premier and members of an interrate departed Chungi Airport at 4 p.m. local time. The flight is scheduled to reach Hazrat Shahzala International Airport in Dhaka this evening. Sheikh Hasina, who arrived in Singapore on Sunday on a four-day official visit, curtailed her too for a day to stand beside the families of the victims of tragic plane crash of U.S. Bangladesh Alliance in Kathmandu yesterday. Senior Minister of the State of Singapore, Dr. Amy Kaur, and Bangladesh Ambassador to Singapore, Mohammad Mustafiz Rahman, saw the Prime Minister of at the airport. The full bench of the Apple Division is scheduled to hear on Wednesday to appeals filed by the state and the Anti-Corruption Commission ACC against a high court order that granted bail to BNP chairperson Begum Khaled Zia in Zia Orphanage Trust graft case. The high court on Monday granted four-month bail to the BNP chairperson in the case, in which she was sentenced to five years imprisonment. A high court division bench comprising Justice Emanatu Rahim and Justice Shahidul Karim passed the order, asking the department concerned of the court to prepare paper book of the case within the time. Following the order, the state and the ACC filed two apples this morning, pleading to stay the bail for four months. Justice Hassan Faiz Siddiq Chamber, judge of Apple Division, sent the matters to be heard on Wednesday at the full bench of the Apex Court. Three Noakali men, including Amir Ahmed alias Amir Ali, has been awarded with the death penalty for the alleged involvement in crimes committed in 1971. Another one has been jailed for 20 years. A three-member bench headed by Chairman of International Crimes Tribunal Justice Mohammed Shahinur Islam announced the verdict on Tuesday. The death penalty convicts are Amir Ahmed alias Amir Ali, Zainal Abedin and Abul Kalam alias AKM Mansoor. Of them, Abul Kalam is on the run. Abul Kudus has been jailed for 20 years. Alia, the tribunal fixed the date on Monday. A 
a court sentenced 39 people to death in the sensational Fulgadi Upazila Parishad Chairman Ekramul Haq killing case. District Judge Aminul Haq changed down the verdict, acquitting 16 other accused, including BNP leader Mahatab Uddin Chaudhry Minar, as the allegation brought against them could not be proved. Earlier on February 13, the court set March 13 for delivering the judgment in the case and cancelled the bail of 22 accused and sent 36 accused to jail. Ikram, also the president of Fulgati Upazila unit of Awami League, came under attack by armed miscreants in front of Bilashi Cinema Hall on Monday 20, 2014, while on his way to Fulgati Upazila headquarters from his master para residence in Feni district today. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News Online, visit www.mytvbt.tv and to watch all our programs on YouTube, youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.